Uh, Kane. Oh, awesome. Like, just uh, easy to work with. Again, him and Taker are like, you know, they should be brothers in real life. Um, I used to, he used to stomp me in the corner and I would like, God, 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 what are you doing? What? And he would just sit there and stomp harder and laugh. CM Punk? CM Punk, um, awesome. Like, love the fact that he's back in WWE. Um, always had a good relationship with him. Actually, I, early, early on, we didn't like each other. And Paul Heyman brought us together. Took us out for sushi one night and just everything was good. Love him today. Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels, one of the best in-ring performers, like, um, I have probably my second favorite match of all time was with Shawn Michaels at Armageddon in 2007. Just the easiest guy to work with. Very giving to. Which what was your first favorite? Sorry. Which which I know a lot of some people would would argue that, but I had I had a good experience with him. What's your first favorite match? Uh, the the match I had with Kurt Angle for TNA Lockdown in two thousand nine. People don't get it. If you didn't watch TNA, Kurt Angle, yeah, he's known for his WWF matches. His matches in TNA, he had the best work of his career in TNA. We are. You got a funny story about that. You got a minute. Um, we. Uh, I, got all, I got all day, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> we were originally slated 25 minutes for the match. And so Kurt, Kurt is one of those guys that he'll put stuff together weeks in advance. He, he starts thinking – and then, you know, he'd run stuff by me. And then I plugged my stuff in there. Um, but on the day we got there, so he had, the story itself was kind of wacky with the key. I, I had a key around my neck and there was all this, like, how are we going to make this make sense? And uh, he figured out a way to make it all mean something. And then on the day they said, hey, you guys only have like 12 minutes. And Kurt was like, we're going to full 25. And he, he goes, he goes, we're going to full 25 and I'll take the heat for it. Don't worry. And I was like, okay. And so we went out there and I remember the, Slick was the ref. And Slick was like, all right, guys, take it home. And we just kept going. A little while later, guys, take it home. And we're still going and you know, at some point you see Slick look up at the camera and like, I don't know what's going on. We went another like 10, 12 minutes. And uh, I never got any heat at all from anybody. Except this is like one of the most uh, AJ Styles, who if you know him, he's like one of the sweetest guys in the world. Um, he came up to me and, it, you know, it was like when dad's not mad at you, he's disappointed in you. <laughs> right. He's like, I'm just disappointed, man, because he had a match with Ric Flair that night. It was, I think it was the first time he was working with Ric Flair, and they ended up cutting his match by like eight minutes because of it. We went over it. So, and then the other but, thing, Kurt, uh, Kurt did the moonsault off the top of the cage. Right. And, and that was something D Lo Brown was our producer. And he he was like, they'll never let me do it. So um if I ask him, it'll be a no. So don't say anything. And then when we get out there, I'm just gonna do it. And uh, you know, so all day when we were kind of going over things with D Lo, telling him, you know, because you gotta set up camera shots and stuff like that. And to forget to add that in there that that Kurt <laughs> moon salt off the cage and then Elo came up to me afterwards and he was like did you know that he was going to do that I said no all right like he he knew you know right wow but oh, Triple H Hunter um I didn't really have much of a relationship when I was with WWE um you know I was like when I was on SmackDown, I was with Taker and Kane and Batista and Rey Mysterio and Booker and all those guys. And then when I got drafted over to Raw, I really didn't, you know, 
I look back on it and I'm like, I should have humbled myself. I'm starting over fresh in this new place. And I, I never really did that. So we just kind of avoided each other. J JBL? JBL. Uh, I had a, I had a great time working with them. I used to, on house shows, I've never heard anybody get more heat than JBL would get, especially overseas. He would go out there and sing America the Beautiful terribly. <laughs> we were in Italy one time, and uh, he started singing for God Bless America or something like that. He was singing God Bless America, just so off-key. And at one point, we're in like this 10 or 12,000-seat arena, and you start hearing this like rumbling. This, da, 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 da. And it was they were singing their own national anthem and they drowned him out. Like the, the building was shaking. It was so loud. It was really cool. John Cena. Cena. Um, I worked with him a lot when I was there, but never had like a, never really had much of a relationship with him. It was just business. So, but. You were in the match when he tore his pack, correct? I was. Yep. Did you get the heat for that? What's that? Did you get the heat for that? I did. I think I did. Yeah. At one point, somebody somebody called me and said, "Hey, you got the heat for for doing that." And I I still don't think I did. I had anything to do with it, but it, it is what it is. Did he give you hip toss, or did you give him the hip toss? Yeah, he gave me a hip toss, and uh, you know, he he sort of went down. He he claims that I just hung on to him. And I pushed him too hard, or something like that. I think, I think you know it is possible that he was I I always post especially I'm trying to get high for it so I post a little bit more on a hip toss and I think he was thinking he was probably just standing there super light and not posted up for me so I mean how many times did you get injured from mm -hmm. silly things I'm yeah. sure you didn't try and put the heat on the other guy you just realized that's part of pro wrestling Every time I got injured with the hands of somebody else, that I never once complained about. It's just, it's, it's, this is not badminton. All right.